Hello aquaponics growers, this is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics. In this video we will see the 10 biggest mistakes to avoid in aquaponics. The mistake number one is obviously to make a big mistake in the conception of your aquaponic setup and to not have a good bell siphon in your aquaponic setup. So basically not having uh, water level variation into the grow beds. That's the biggest mistake you can make because from the conception your setup is not going to work. Mistake number two. Uh, choosing the wrong media. If you if you choose the wrong media, basically you may have some problem of pH in your aquaponic setup. So if you got a media with limestone, you're not going to be able to uh, maintain the pH uh, at, uh, at a range of 7. You're going to have a very high pH that is never going to decrease and therefore you're going to be very limited into the variety and the diversity of vegetables and fish that you're going to be able to grow. Mistake number three, uh, again, having a wrong media, a media that is not adapted to aquaponics and, and that doesn't offer a really high uh, surface area. So I already made a video about this specific uh, topic, the media, uh, but really the difference between uh, a classic bubbles and uh, a volcanic rock or uh, a clay balls is huge in terms of surface area. So if you choose to go for clay bubbles, uh, you may have a setup that is going to work a little bit, but it's not going to be efficient at all. So I think that's a big mistake because when you see the, uh, the potential that you got uh, in aquaponics, it's a big, big shame to not w uh, work with an efficient media that offer a very wide surface area. Mistake number four, wanted to grow too many fish and more fish than uh, your setup can really uh, deal with and therefore having a peak of ammonia, peak of nitrate and killing your fish. Mistake number five, having an aquaponic setup with a pump that is way too big. I'm talking about the water pump. I see too many beginners working with huge water pump because they are a bit scared to not have, uh, to not have enough oxygen for the fish. That's, that's a big mistake. The water pump should be just enough to renew twice the volume of the grow bed per hour and then the oxygenation of the fish tank should be just uh, ensured by a simple air pump. If you have a really big water pump, you're going to consume a lot of electricity and therefore you are not going to be efficient enough uh, and it's not going to be sustainable. So when you design your aquaponic setup and you select the pump, you should really be focused on trying to find the smallest pump possible in terms uh, of being able to fulfill all the needs of your uh, bacteria in terms of oxygen, but uh, in terms uh, also trying to minimize uh, the electricity consumption. Mistake number six, uh, it's, uh, I see it a lot, it's uh, for people who really want to focus on the fish production, they are really interested into the fish, they want to grow a lot of fish, they don't really mind about the quantity of vegetables and they design uh, an aquaponic setup with a huge fish tank and a very small grow bed. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the grow bed is going to limit the quantity of fish that you can have. So really, you shouldn't have a, a very big fish tank if you have a very small grow bed. If you want to grow a lot of fish, you should have a really big grow bed. Uh, so that's a mistake that I see very often and then uh, people put a lot of fish in the setup and obviously uh, the fish die because they don't have a grow bed big enough. Mistake number seven is to not choose a food grade materials. So 
your tanks must be full grade uh, and you sh they shouldn't have been used to store chemicals before. If you buy an old tank, a commercial tank or whatever, it has to be food grade, right? You can't, you can't allow to buy a tank that used to store chemicals because even if you rinse it very well, you always got a bit of the, the chemicals that are trapped into the plastic and they're gonna, the plastic is going to release the, the chemicals in the time. So when you design your aquaponics setup, if you buy old tanks, if you recycle material, which is a really good thing, make sure it's food grade. Mistake number eight, overfeeding your fish. Obviously, that's a, that's a very basic one, a uh, very common one, but please don't overfeed your fish. If you overfeed your fish, you're going to generate too much ammonia and maybe it's going to be too much for the bacteria. And if the bacteria are not going to be able to follow this quantity of ammonia, if they are not able to eat and to consume this whole quantity of ammonia, you're going to have a peak of ammonia and you may simply kill your fish. Mistake number nine is to put your fish too soon into your aquaponic setup. Uh, just after breeding the aquaponic setup without cycling uh, the setup. So I made a special video about how to cycle an aquaponic setup. Uh, please follow this video. Uh, I recommend to cycle the, the aquaponic setup without any fish. In this case, you don't take the risk to kill your fish or to put them in very, very difficult situation. Mistake number 10 is to choose some fish that are not adapted to the temperature where you live. And nowadays it's quite easy to buy some fish online. You can buy some fish from the aquarium shops or some fingerlings from different area. But make sure that they are adapted to the temperature, uh, to the range of temperature of uh, the area where you live. Uh, because if it's not the case, if you buy some tropical fish and you live in a colder uh, environment, or if you buy some cold uh, water fish such as trout and you live in a very warm environment, uh, your fish are not going to be able to cope with the seasons. And it's possible that you grow the fish for several months and when you arrive in summer or in winter, the fish will die and you will lose your whole uh, population. So it will be a disaster. So that's the 10th mistake. If you are watching this video on YouTube, you will see that on the description of the video just below, you will have access to some free gifts. First, you have access to a six-step process to be able to build your own aquaponic system in good conditions. I developed this six-step process because I found that too many beginners are basically starting aquaponics with a wrong design. So if you want to build your own aquaponic setup, please just follow this uh, six-step uh, process. It's completely free, right? I really designed it to help you to build your setup in good conditions and therefore to succeed in aquaponics. The second gift is for people who already have aquaponics. A very uh, common problem we have in aquaponics is that we got the leaves of the vegetables that are turning yellow. And the reason why is because basically in, in, uh, in aquaponics we sometimes need to add some minerals otherwise the vegetables have some deficiencies. So if you have this problem I made a special video about it as well and you can have access to it in the description of the video. It's uh, the free bonus video. Uh, if you are very interested into aquaponics, you can also have access to a webinar, uh, a free webinar specific to aquaponics. I deliver a lot of information. Finally, you are probably aware that I wrote a digital aquaponics manual called The Art of Aquaponics and you can have access to a free excerpt of this aquaponics manual where I add a lot of value and I give you a lot of my knowledge about aquaponics. So don't forget that you can have access to those four gifts on the description of the video and I'm sure they're going to help you to develop your aquaponics setup and to produce your own sustainable and healthy food in good conditions. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!